Hello everyone, this is your Tycoon News for September 2015. In this episode, we'll take a look at Soma Sim's progress on Project High Rise, run through the features of City Skyline's upcoming DLC, and see what's up with the recently released Shopkeep. And at the end of the episode, I'll have a quick update on the status of the Zat channel and what we're going to be doing moving forward. Nantucket is a seafaring strategy game set in the golden age of American whaling. It's a project born around the developer's passion for history and literature such as the classic novel Moby Dick. In the game you'll explore the seven seas, deal with hundreds of unique events, manage your ship and crew, and of course slowly diminish the population of marine animals. You might even come face to face with the white devil itself with the opportunity to dissolve Ahab's curse. After hiring your crew, characters can be developed with stats and skills in an RPG fashion, and your ship can be upgraded with new techs allowing you to better protect your crew from boarding pirates. Nantucket is currently in a pre-alpha stage, and is planned for a PC release near the end of 2015. We're a little late reporting on this one, but Lethus Path and Progress released at the end of June. The game is a city builder in a Victorian steampunk setting with gameplay that resembles classics like Caesar or Pharaoh. With the discovery of condensed steam kickstarting an industrial revolution, you are given the difficult task to develop prospering cities and ensure a good and happy life for your fellow citizens. At the same time, be sure to keep the Emperor happy, honoring edicts and colonizing the farthest lands of the Lethus Empire. In the game, you'll manage cities, provide resources for your inhabitants, sustain your production lines, and trade with other cities. Lethus Path to Progress features over 24 different resources, more than 40 different buildings, and a soundtrack with over 20 songs. The game can be found on Steam in English, French, and German. After Dark is the first expansion to the popular city simulator Cities Skylines. The central feature of the latest expansion is the day and night cycle which alters the rhythm of your city. Nighttime affects citizens' schedules, lowering traffic in many areas, giving more room for your service vehicles to work. There's a new specialization where commercial areas can focus in leisure activities, creating a particularly active nightlife in some districts. The beach specialization allows for the construction of beach bars, restaurants, marinas, and fishing tours along the shoreline. City services have also been expanded upon, with criminals now being transferred between police stations and prisons, taxis can now help tourists get around town, and airports, harbors, and bus terminals have been expanded upon. The paid expansion will release on September 24th, but even if you decide not to obtain the After Dark add-on, the day and night cycle will still be added into the base game for free. Painter's Guild, which released earlier this month, is a historical simulation game in which you manage an art academy in Renaissance Italy. Establish your guild in either Florence, Venice, or Rome, then expand your studio and customize it with furniture. Practice your craft and eventually you'll be able to paint artworks as beautiful as the Mona Lisa. If you don't want to paint yourself, hire some painters like Leonardo da Vinci or one of millions of randomly generated artists. As the shopkeep, a selection of character classes will visit your business, each with their own particular items that appeal to them. Mages will appreciate potions, magic robes, and wizard hats, while warriors are more inclined to purchase steel armor and poison swords. In Shopkeep, you'll need to design, build, and manage a hub where these adventurers can find what they need. Keep an eye on suspicious characters, as if you catch these walking out the door with your merchandise, you'll need to stop them dead in their tracks. Defend yourself from barbarian raids who are bent on destroying everything in your shop, forcing you to take time to do repairs. Keep your floor tidy, picking up items that customers knocked over, and using your broom to sweep away dirt and expired customers. The game is currently available as early access on Steam and will eventually offer both a campaign and free play mode. From the people that brought you 1894, Somasim has started to work on Project High Rise. In this tower construction and management game, you'll need to plan, build, and maintain systems that will support residents, offices, stores, and restaurants that call your building home. Both physical infrastructure and logistical networks will need to be accounted for. Physical systems will include items like wires, pipes, stairs, and elevators, while the human side will contain services like couriers, photocopying, water delivery, trash disposal. As your tower grows, your tenants will become more sophisticated in their requirements. It will be up to you as the manager of the building to ensure that you can provide a level of service that your tenants will expect. Project High Rise is still in the early stages of development, but is currently targeted to release in 2016. Thanks for watching this episode of Tycoon News. You might have noticed that the schedule for these videos has kind of wavered back and forth. I think the last episode is back in June or July. And back then I said I would be returning to a regular monthly schedule. That didn't happen. The long and short of it is I've been having trouble balancing my full-time job, personal life, and making these videos. What we're doing moving forward is I've brought on someone to help me with the editing process, which hopefully will allow me to focus more on the quality of the recording, and he can focus more on the quality of the editing side. You can follow him on Twitter at Dr. Anatoid if you like, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter as I will still be throwing out random tidbits of Tycoon interest on there, 
And feel free to contact me either through Twitter or email if you have something you want to see on Tycoon News, even a game that you might be working on yourself. Uh, that would be at writezat at gmail.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Take care.